What do you think about the state of morality in America today? So, what do you think about the state of morality in America today? Okay, the state of morality in America. Really, if you think through the whole concept of morality, in order to understand it properly, really you need to decide or discern which worldview you're going to take. America's morality comes down, you know, despite what it is or what it isn't, it comes down to the dollar, you know. Well, I don't know if you can necessarily relate it to, uh, to the money aspect, because uh, morals and ethics is an individual thing. It doesn't matter what your situation is, you can still be moral and ethical, whether you're rich or poor. You, know, you can still live a, be the life of principle. Your interpretation of what is moral and what is immoral is based on uh, everybody's opinion. And that is a problem because everybody's opinion is totally different. It's very interesting. And you have the, the sense uh, how science has changed morality. Yeah. For instance, in the old days, uh, uh, rape and abuse was very common. Uh, it's less common today. And of course now with the, the pill, more open as well. So, you know, you can say, are, are girls less moral? But I don't think that there really are any changes. I mean, people are people. They've always been the same right. since the beginning of time, more or less. You know, it's an amazing thing. Uh, I think there's some real examples in the media and uh, so forth on uh, the decay of morality in America. But all that notwithstanding, I guess. I guess I don't think that out in the, out in the heartland uh, that uh, morality is any different than it's better or worse than it's ever been. Nash, what do you think about America? Oh, she is mother to all. All revolves around her. Have dreams of taking her and running off. This, though, is an impossible love affair. She will tell me anything to get my dollar and feel the pleasure. I'm now in the midst of turning my back. Wherever I go, they are asking for me, my money, my soul. Uncle Sam is ready to fight. Nothing matters to these postmodernists. I'm not challenging their morality, but rather than their pursuit of happiness. Three years ago, I went around the state expecting things to be different, like I would find the fountain of youth and drink from it. I mean, if you go by the Bible standards, number immoral, uh, situations that, that occur in our country now is so much greater than it was even 20 years ago. Uh, I mean, statistics prove all that stuff, you know. Uh, the amount of uh, abortions is a, is a classic example. The amount of uh, sexually transmitted diseases also, you know. I mean, they just was not, and we're talking, you don't have to talk numbers, you can talk percentages, you know. Uh, and you still, and you see this, this definite move, the, the more immoral the society, the more uh, consequences there are to the immorality. Definitely actions.
What do you think? Yeah. He's I think he's gonna stop and give us some harassment. I think so. And then we're gonna he's have to prove. One. Then we're gonna have to prove to him that we're all 21. I think he's leaving. Yeah. What do you see? You can't see the people? Access to information and this media blitz that we, you know, undergo every day, all day long, is, you know, just made it a lot easier to, you know, read and hear about various failures. Right. So you think the media, media plays a huge role in the way morality is seen? Well, the media, right now? Media produces what people will read. Right. People love to read about moral failures. Right. <laughs> and it sells. It sells. And the bottom line is money, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately. So the old expression by Rubik that money makes the world go around is absolutely true. <laughs> yeah. Where we happen to be in the uh, in the catbird seat right now, you know, as ancient Rome was, yeah. you know, as as uh, the French were before the revolution. <laughs> yeah. We have when we have a government that is supporting the rich and saying the hell with the populace. Yeah. When you have uh, lobbyists and corporations and insurance companies that are controlling everything legislating the laws, and we have to pay, that's all there's to it. There's no right. choice if you want to live here. Right. And it's, it's true of any country. Right. Exceptions that are well publicized, but I don't think that there's been a direct shift in the way we, as a culture, as we do that. So my point of view has been one that uh, I don't think there's any appreciable difference <clears throat> between this time and the 19th century or a thousand years ago. Morality is, is uh, an expediency of the moment, an expediency of the moment, so to speak, and it's different for all people.